I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick Mark Daniels here with episode 5 of our Mega Man Battle Network 6 Side Beast Gregar version Let's Play. That is still a mouthful. And guys, if you missed last episode, we encountered the Side Beast Gregar themselves and we ended up absorbing them into us. So now we have the Side Beast power, kind of like. Uh, a Mega Man Jinchuriki, uh, if you get the reference from Naruto, we basically have the beast living inside us. We can activate its powers and basically run around as a beast in battle for, I believe, three turns. Just kind of like in the previous games where we got to use the uh, souls of other navvies and it lasts for three turns. It's kind of like that. So we had to go across the net to Seaside area, get some healing water for Mega Man to kind of uh, suppress the beast of sorts. And a lot of stuff happened between then. But now. The Navi that kind of released the beast itself also captured the other beast, the other version's beast, uh, Falzar, I believe it's called. It's a falcon looking beast. And that circus clown Navi that we don't, I don't think we got the name of yet is in Central Area 3. So that's where we're about to head to right now. And we're about to take care of some business, if you will, baby. So let's go to Area 3. And of course, all these Navis are still injured. They got beat up pretty bad because of the beast. The beasts uh, took a bunch of energy, uh, made a bunch of earthquakes and stuff, so we had to take care of them. Excuse me, so here we are in Area 3. This is where we discovered the beast to begin with. I would imagine the area to the left of us here where we couldn't access is probably where they're at. Okay, so it's like, let's go there, so maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there they are right there. Who are you? What are you up to? Ha ah, ah, we meet at last. How do you do? I'm Circus Man, so it's Circus Man. I thought if I set my tent up here, I'd get your attention. Hey, I've got a question for you, kid. Where'd you hide it? You know, the side beast. It's inside me. That's funny at all. And trust me, I know funny. Get it, cause he's a clown. Now see, a navvy like me can store a fierce creature like a side beast, but a shrimp like you? Impossible. What do you guys want? I'll ask the questions, thank you very much. Where did you hide the side beast? And don't even think about lying to me, kid. I know you don't believe me, but I'm not lying. Hmm. If that's really true, then you won't mind if I bring out the animal in you. Here he comes, Lan. Oh, so we're going straight into the battle. Interesting. So we don't have to go through uh, another area or anything. That's interesting. So there's the beast right there. Um, I actually kind of like the heat uh, better here. Um, yeah, let's do this. So they summon circus animals, okay. Do they move up at all? Hmm. How obnoxious. Oof. What a waste! Boom. Four twenty. Right. So we should have this battle in the bag. Oh, he jumped over it. Never mind. Perhaps I spoke too soon. Oh, so it doesn't last three turns because, as you can see here, there's a three next to our picture still. Interesting. So we just went with the Buster. Pretty easy there for us. Who would have guessed that you'd really have the side beast? But as long as we have the other one, the ringmaster will get his way. Gah! And we have yet to figure out who exactly is behind all this. Um, these attacks that have happened, and who's trying to summon the, uh, almost call them ultra beasts, the side beasts. Looks like there's someone else pulling the strings here. Yeah, I'm not sure who it is. So, in the previous games, we've had, you know, WWW with Dr. Wily. We've had Nebula, which was led by Regal, Dr. Wily's son. Uh, there was also, was it like the Net Mafia? There was like one game where there was like a different organization that's kind of outside 
of Dr. Wily and uh, Regal. I think it's called the Net Mafia. I don't really remember. I think that was the second game, or maybe it was the third game. Other side beasts then were in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I have a bad feeling. I'm really sorry, and Abby and Mega Man sort of got to the other side beast first. Mega Man, that's Lan Hikari's nephew. Hmm. Was it fate that he moved here to this town, huh? Nothing, just talking to myself. You can back off for now. At least we have one side beast. We can consider this battle a victory. Phew, thanks. And I'll prove that I can get the other one for sure. Hmm, as expected. Lan Hikari and Mega Man, you two are becoming a threat to my operation. Interesting. A few days later, just as the chaos from the side beast incident was fading. I'm gonna finally get on the net and... Oh, it looks like they have some trouble going on in the hallway. Hey Mick, what's going on? Hey, good timing. Someone just hung up an interesting flyer. You should check it out. Oh, let's see. They're recruiting an operator Navi for the Expo Pavilion. That's what it looks like, you know. How they're opening that expo really soon, right? It sounds like they made the main pavilion really big, and they're gonna leave the tour guiding to a navy. Well, a navy using a copy bot, that is. So you mean a navy that is always being operated by a human is gonna get to operate humans for a change? Heh, <laughs> what a neat idea. By the way, what's a pavilion? Why don't you know, you dummy? I bet it's because you're always sleeping in class. Hmm. A pavilion is, well, it's related to a lion. That's totally wrong. A pavilion isn't something that's alive, and don't you start telling me it's only natural for a human to take naps. <laughs> we got you good, fine. Then you tell me what it is. A pavilion is, hmm, it sounds like a chameleon, so maybe it's related. That's completely wrong, too. A chameleon's a living thing, too, right? A pavilion is a really big building that is the symbol of a large event like an expo. Hmm. Anyway, so you want a navy to give tours of that building? Sounds neat, doesn't it? I mean, if it's your navy, you get to go as much as you want. I'm going to sign up right now. Looks like there's some sort of really hard fight you've got to pass first. The selection test is being held at the Central Area Net Cafe today. Hey, it's already started. So we're going to go to the Net Cafe. Stop, young man. Let's drink a cocoa in the midst of this. Oh, look at what we got here. Is she an art teacher? Don't you know you're not allowed to run in the halls? Hmm. Little kids who don't follow rules get detention. Uh, sorry, um, who are you? Are you someone's older sister? Sister? <laughs> You're a funny little guy. I guess with the way I dress, I don't look it, but I'm actually the home ec teacher, Miss Fallran. What? You're a teacher? Well, it's okay if you didn't know. I just started here very recently, and I never was very good at looking like a teacher. I guess it's only natural that you couldn't tell. Well, you kind of look more like a chef than a teacher. Ah, that's because I've always loved cooking. What's that in her? What's that in her bandana and hair? Is that cigarettes? To me, it looked like, uh, I don't know, like painting utensils, right? Like like some brushes, maybe? Maybe there's seasonings, like salt and pepper, like shakers. I was a chef in Yumlin for a long time. You may not know it, but I was even a little famous there. Then why did you come here? I'm really interested in this country's food. From what I've tasted, there are all sorts of flavors in the ingredients here that don't exist in Yumlin's native foods. So you're studying food. That sounds like so much fun, unlike math. When you come to my room, I guess I can share a delicious recipe or two while I lecture you on rules. You really teach me, really? Sure, anytime. But I'll be out researching soon, so I won't be around. After I get back, let's eat some great yumlin food, okay? I'm gonna get going now, but remember, no running. So interesting. Hey, we can't just stand around now. Ah, that's right. If we don't hurry, we won't be able to enter the test. I'm gonna imagine that she's actually a bad guy. Just because usually when they introduce new characters like that, they usually end up being a bad guy. Or maybe not a bad person, but someone who gets kind of uh, taken advantage of. Uh, we could definitely see something like that. Alright, so we need to go to the Net Cafe in Central Area. I know exactly where that's at. As I run into the bathroom. I know exactly where that's at. Alright, uh... So we were just in Central Area, so we might go and make a save here. Here we are. How do you like to have a cup of coffee? One cup is only an issue. Welcome everyone, gather around. Now is the time for the Expo Pavilion Operator Navi Selection Test. The requirement to be chosen as the Operator Navi is simply being the best Navi in all of Cyber City. 
This selection test will examine every single ability of your Navi. Allow me to explain today's first event. The first event will test everyone's intellect, so listen to what I say and think very, very hard. Then go and find what I was talking about. The first thing is Cyber Seal. What? Too hard? Here's a hint. When you hear Seal, it brings to mind a certain place. Aqua. That's all I'm going to say. The rest is up to you. Use your brains. Next to the Cyber Seal, there's a Navi who looks like us waiting for you. Good luck, everyone. Uh, you may begin. So, a Cyber Seal, obviously the aquarium. Um, would I have to be on the net for that, though, the seaside? Or do I go straight to the... Uh, or do I go straight to the aquarium and look there? So we'll go to this. We'll go to here first. Um, Cyber Seal. It's gonna be a place of jacket somewhere. Do we grab the item in here? No. Unlocker. Hell yeah, we'll take that. Um. Triple, almost triple deletion. All right, we got a white capsule. All right, we're gonna jack out. Jack in here. Barrier 100 H. Hmm. Okay, nothing there. Uh, just a creepy shade, uh, shady. Little uh, sub chip dealer. Welcome to the aquarium. Enjoy your stay in the underwater world. Probably should just go on the net. There's a seal right there. You're an operator in every places, right? This is the cyber seal. Can you see it? Maybe you stand on your tippy toes, you can. The cream HP the seal is used as a visual. Congratulations. Oh, I didn't even notice it in the background. It's got the, it's balancing a ball. On. Okay. The test will keep on coming. The next test is to find a fish that cannot swim. Here's a hint. You can't find it in the real world. Go out there and do your best. The next test is to find a fish that cannot swim. Oh, fish stick. Right? Yep. Seems like you discovered the right answer. Yep. A fish that can't swim, it's fish sticks. Congrats on getting the second answer correct. The next quest, the next quest is also the final quest. Last time you must find is, well, the clue is hidden in the following words. I am always looking for a crayfish. Looking at crayfish. The key to the next round is at hand. Crayfish. Well, there's this thing over here. This is just water though, right? Okay, not this. Always looking at crayfish. Oh, is it the uh, the television that we were just at? This thing. Oh no, this is the the, the main PC. Always looking at crayfish. Uh, today's show's already over, I'm sorry. There's a popcorn machine. We, we weren't able to jack into it earlier. Ooh, HP memory, nice. Yo, look at these bomb corns. What the hell? I like that, it's kinda cool. I've got a secret rival, the program at the fish stick stop. I never wanna come and stick it to that program. <laughs> That's kinda funny. Popcorn's better than fish sticks. I would tend to agree with that statement. Alright, so it's not there. Always looking at cray... No, not always looking at crayfish. Yeah, always looking at crayfish. It's not these guys. 
hermit crab. We have the helix fossil. Tropical fish. Sunfish. Iguanas. Jellyfish. Turtles. Would you please fight against a virus I'm breeding? Oh, hold on, let me save first. Okay, so we got some piranhas and puffies. Definitely don't want to go water here. We can certainly do this. Darn it, something must be lacking. Power speed. No matter, you still defeat him with virus, just like I promised. Here's your reward. So we got five buck guys, nice. Can we battle him again? No, okay. Always looking at crayfish. I mean it could be here in the aquarium computer. Piranha. Tropical fish. Oh, this is, I just got my hands on something really nice. Want to see it? Yeah. Oh, it's a bunch of viruses. Interesting. Boom! If that bubble was in the way, we would have killed that thing too. Got him. Oh, you aren't too mad, are you? Oh, it's just a joke. Seriously, it's just a joke. It's a joke! Let's start here, take this okay. So we got a charge plus one. That's actually nice, we'll take that. Alright, we'll make this charge a little bit faster. So we're looking for crayfish. Um Turtle King Crab Natalus. Hmm, always looking at crayfish. I don't know where crayfish is located at though. I don't know what a crayfish looks like. Get the gators. <laughs> Don't expect me real griffin for some fake mermaid. Damn, that's harsh. Mm. Yo, Lan, as long as as lost as I am, what's I was looking at crawfish supposed to mean? I have no idea. Hmm. I think about it, it might just be me. I feel like I see crayfish every day. Every day. Now where do I see them every day? Hmm. I think it's someplace really familiar. Does that mean it's not here? It's in Central Town? Astron Land. Is it in the school?
Then the right answer thing is always looking at these guys. Always looking at these guys. Hmm. Huh? I'm always looking at crayfish. Well, I am the biology teacher's aide, so I do look at them a lot, but I don't know what the answer is. However, if it's always looking at crayfish, then it has to be close by. Is it a security camera? Oops. I mean... Oh, put a rug up, nice. Look at maybe. Hey, you can check into the security camera. Oh, okay, so it is a security camera. Hot dog. Well done. This sensor films the classroom 24 hours a day. Come more night, it films everything, of course. It also captures images of the crayfish in their tank. An amazing job. You were first place in round one. Congratulations. That was a good one. The second test will be held another day. We'll inform you via mail with details on the second test. The second test will be even tougher. Remember your goal and do your best. Here's your qualifier's prize. So we got an EXP memory and an expo folder. Oh, cool. Let's find 3,000 zen over there. Save. And jungle. Welcome to the jungle. That help us find wood uh, viruses, right? Yep. Could come in handy at some point. Okay, so... Interesting. What's the uh, extra expo folder? Who has cannon C and the cannon with the uh, extra? And it's got some high cannons in there. Interesting. What high cannons do we have already? L and M already. Okay. Vulcan, white swords. Another long sword that we can use. Okay, I dig that. Area grab, that's actually pretty good for us. Alright, so we'll just throw in some random chips. Uh, we have 13 of 1. What was it? I think you can have this. <laughs> Alright, edit. Alphabetical. Monsters do I have only two? I have three in there. Do I want the cannons in there? I don't know, I kinda like the fire hit. Give it a barrier attack plus ten. We're definitely putting area grab in. Another long sword in. I like having my buster powered up too. Barrier 100 isn't bad. I mean, we run H chips. I mean, fire hat's really good. Uh, I don't want to run all these promo mazes, it's too much. I like double shot too. Double shot's good. Alright, so that's. It's good enough for me to save. Alright, leave. Well, we made it through the preliminaries. What do we want to do now? Well, how about a little something called, I don't know, homework? Ouch. If you stop putting it off, it'd be over sooner. Blah. Oh, we have an email. Thank goodness. Did you say something? No, 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 nothing. Look, uh, you were about to read me my mail. Okay. Huh? This is from the aquarium director. I'll read what it says. Hello, it has been a while since I have contacted you. Unfortunately, we need you to appear at the trial of Captain Blackbeard for the incident. Oh, so we have to go to court. Blackbeard, you will be asked to take an oath and testify. The trial starts this afternoon and is at the Greentown Courthouse. I appreciate your cooperation on such short notice. Me go to court? Testify? What am I supposed to do when I testify? I'm not in trouble, am I? I don't know, but it seems like a serious responsibility. It looks like you have to go today, so let's go to the courthouse in Green, uh, Greentown. Okay. So we're gonna go to Greentown. Alright, so let's save. And let's head to Greentown. Alright. Go to the 
Heavy Bus. So we get some cocoa. <laughs> it's literally a tree. That's interesting. I'm a natural scientist. William Wayne Flowers. Is that English? Alright, hold up. Okay. This guy looks interesting. Is he a guard? Oh, he looks shady as hell. I hear some sort of special lectures going to start. It's a big old book. Got a statue over here. Breathing crime, breathing of justice. You can jack in. I will jack in real quick. Yo, look at that big old rock boy. 2400 Zenny. And reg up too. Nice. How about some flowers grown in Greentown? Enjoy not only their beauty, but also their scents. Excuse me. Okay. here pretty much I don't know we haven't gone over here yet so this is chairs wow what a big building this has to be the courthouse freeze huh uh oh uh, did you just say something land Hakari you will stop where you are how do you know my name you will be quiet and follow my orders this is a command why should I listen to some weirdo I don't know? I'm only doing my duty. You're not making any sense. Anyways, I've got an important trial to go to. And I won't be commanded by some suspicious guy. Let's go, Mega Man. I yeah. This is the first time I've been to a courthouse. I'm so nervous. Intruder alert, intruder alert. I know it means something bad. Oh, I knew it. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Wait a second. I was told to come here to testify. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Please state your name. I'm in Hikari. Uh, not as I suspected you are not on the list. Therefore, you are a suspicious person and must be an intruder. Greentown Ordinate number 128 states that anyone who enters the courthouse has received prior to da, 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 you are breaking the above ordinance. You will now be arrested. Wait, wait. I called for the boy to stand as a witness. I simply forgot to enter his name onto the list. I, it was my mistake. I'll add him to the list right now. Jesus, Director. Oh, I'm really sorry for the little mix-up, my boy. Um, what were those robots just now? If you try to enter this courthouse without permission, you'll be arrested by those punishment robots you just saw. You get arrested for something like that? I suppose I should explain about the green town came about. This town was founded on the theme of a crime-free society, so rules and laws are more strictly enforced here. There is also a reason why there is so much greenery as it ties into the town's theme. Research is still ongoing, but the best models for a crime-free town seem to include nature and their attributes. And that is why Greentown is full of nature now. But I still need permission to get into court, right? So how do I get it? You'll need to go to Green Area 2's cafe to get it. I was going to go with myself and couldn't get it earlier. I'm sorry I forgot to take care of that. I'll go get it right now. Blah, 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 blah. The fastest way to Green Area is through that tablet. Oh, and Green Area is full of trees, so please take this. Alright, be careful and good luck, my boy. So we got a Cyberax. We got a sub shop. We got a locker. Let's check it out. Black bomb F. Hmm, so sneaking a snack isn't a crime? That makes perfect sense. Don't jump to conclusions. If you snuck a snack of a ca cavalier. What? You. Oh, what are we doing? We're studying for the bar exam to be lawyers. HP memory, nice. Welcome and thank you for coming to Green Area. The motto for this area is pure, fri pure right and beautiful. This going against the rules is simply absurd. Farewell. This guy sells programs, nice. The HP memories, custom one, I do want that. Mega folder, not too worried about the float shoes would be nice. Attack plus one, yeah. Take that. What does Chip Shuffle do? HP plus 200. Flow shoes is always good. 
Nice you memory, of course, is always great. Alright, so let's go here. What's down here? Oh yeah, the fast barrier. I don't really care about that, to be honest. Much rather have this. Um, we have Undershot. We might have to compress some of these programs at some point. Attack plus one. I mean, if I do that now... Let me look... Let me give me a second here, guys. Give me two seconds here. Bum, bum, bum. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. It's probably under here. Yeah, there's the compression here. So. Let's go. Undershirt. Okay, so to compress it. I think I have to push something. Let's A R B A B R R B A L. Cause when he had to do something for it too. Was it hold down the slip but no? Uh, these make the program smaller by a certain amount depending on the program in question. This makes your make it even more customized and as always more power is great to do so. Hold right. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Okay. So. Undershot or undershirt. Okay, so you hold the right button. R-R-A-L-L-R-A-A-B-B. -B -B. Got it. So it makes it smaller. Next, I want float shoes. Float shoes is R A L A B L B B R B, and then while we're here, we might as well get this too. If if there's even one for it. B B A R A. Hope I messed it up. B B A R A B L A R R. Got it. Um, custom one, of course. Okay. L B B R B A A L R. -R. This is right here, might as well get jungle as well. A L A R B R A R L B. Okay. Fantastic. So, get that custom. There we go. Boom. We can move you here. Boom. Can't spin these yet, unfortunately, but I can. you here, you down here, you up here, you back up here. I did want float shoes, I don't think we could fit it. If I could spin blue, I could get that in there. Oh, I need to do this too. If only had the spin for we'll get those eventually. That's cool. We'll take this. Save. Perfect. Alright. So now we're in green area one. 
We can go to green area too. A lot of portals here, which is always annoying. If you go down that slope, the small roads get tangled, kind of like the roots of a tree. Oh, I messed up my thing. Better to see. High cannon M. Was that high cannon M or M cannon? M? High cannon M. We already have high cannon. We have L and M, right? So we just need N. I have to pull the map out for this one. The question is from Green Town Hornets 182. What is the punishment for hitting Mr. Prague on the head? Do you know the answer, Mega Man? Nope, not a clue. But it looks like Granary 2 is just beyond this door. So what now? I guess we should look for the answer. Try to mischief that. Uh, so these guys gotta talk to everyone until I find the answer, huh? Oof. Oof, oof, oof. No. I think I ran right into it. any unlockers unfortunately we need to buy a couple when we see a sub chip dealer um, nice three bug tracks hell yeah welcome and thank you for coming here da -da -da. there's a tree here we can cut it down right How do I use it? Oh, the cyber axe is too weak to cut it down. I gotcha. Okay. Book computer. Yo, yo. Sub memory, we'll take that. Hell yeah. So we can't cut that down. Might have to jack out and look for answers, or at least ask the uh, the director. The director might know. All right, so this leads to here. Yeah, let's jack out real quick. Obligations for entry permits are being taken at the green area. Uh, so we have to find the answers here, huh? Alright, so we do want the unlocker. Oh, we don't have enough files uh, anymore. Did 
change your mind, you'd like to become a lawyer and join. I forgot to mention membership is 1,000. Now you are a member of the lawyers. If you keep studying here, you too become a specialist in the law. Do your best until you become a lawyer. What happens if, okay, here we go. I know I just studied this. Oh, I remember. If you hit Mr. Prog on the head, the punishment is something that is infuriating. It's true, really. The last time I hit one, the punishment got me so mad. So literally, it can't be that bad. What if we just hit one? Last time I hit one, the punishment got me so mad. part of the lawyer club, maybe we can just find something in the book area. Oh, that rock's gonna block it. Back to Central Area 3, huh? Interesting. Oh, so we got rid of that tree now. That's cool. Okay. Got him. Anti sword. What if we talk to it now? Since we say it's just infuriating. Um, the punishment is something that is infuriating. I don't. I got that wrong, didn't I? That is correct. You may pass. What the hell, Bobby? All right. So we passed me to the green area too. So we gotta make it to the cafe. Time to water the plants, fa la la la. It's been said you can't treat plants roughly. That is the law here in Greentown. That was any, not bad, we'll take it. Can't go up there.
don't know why I'm not using this at all. Alright, so here we are. Okay, Lanakari, you are on the list. Let me give you the off data. Okay. Jetsu, so please exercise due care for me, okay? Shh, excuse me. Oh, this is awful. If you don't tell me everything, we can't sue. Arg, I'm so mad I can't calm down. I mean... If you hate someone, you just hate them. Ah, this is absolutely 100% terribly awful. There's no help in this one. But before we move on... I didn't hit him. Oh, because the rock. Speed plus one. Hell yeah. Nah, if we can fit it on there, we'll put it on there. If not, I'm, I'm not too bar bothered by it. Yeah, we can fit it on there. Okay, so we'll just jack out. I wonder if it's really okay to walk in now. Alright, right, I'll give it a try. Hey, looks like I'm in. Hey! Over here, over here. Looks like you got the permission data with no problems. Yeah, it went okay. By the way, oh sorry, this man is the prosecutor who is in charge of the case involving the aquarium prosecutor Ito. Ah, so you're the one testifying today. How do you do? I am prosecutor Ito. Um, I kinda know, but what exactly is a prosecutor? Oh, sorry. A prosecutor is a basically a person that looks into an incident and tries to bring the culprit into the court to face justice. That's what I do. It's an important job. And today's trial is one part of my job. So that's what you do. Oh, I forgot. I'm nice. I'm nice. <laughs> I'm Lanny Kari. Nice to meet you. Lanny Kari, huh? That's a nice name. Really. When you've been a prosecutor for as long as I have, You've heard a lot of names, and you can tell just by a name if a person is good or bad. That's so weird. You are a good person. Where am I wrong? <laughs> well, when you put it like that, your parents gave you a very good name, you know. Come to think of it, your father, he's one of the top five scientists in the world. Dr. Yuchiro Hikari, right? Ho oh, ho, is that so? I didn't know that. How did you know that? I ran a little background check on you beforehand. It's something that needs to be done here for the trial. Ah, uh, but I'm jealous that your father is Dr. Ikari. I would love to talk to him, even for just a little bit. Really, I'll tell him that. You will. I was only half serious. I mean, I never thought... You two seem to have a lot to talk about, but we should really get to the trial. 
Ah, that's true. I'm very sorry. Speaking of that, this is your first time here, right, Lan? I think you should take a look around the courtroom. I think you'll be surprised at what you see in there. The system here is really something else. The courtroom is right behind those huge doors. Sounds exciting. Interesting. So let's save. Ah, on the field trip to the courthouse, I see. Look at the tree inside this courtroom. It is called the jungle tree. Of course, it isn't just a normal tree. It'll automatically make prudent, just court decisions. It is a milestone of a machine. The summary here, there's no need for a judge. We let the judge tree handle everything. Interesting. I'm not our experience the judge. There are many times when they may make an unjust decision, taking that into consideration. With the goal of getting justice every single time, we thought of how we can improve the system. Our answer is very simple. The people are prone to making mistakes. That's why not use something other than a human as a judge. The fruit of this debate was the botanical justice system known as the judge tree. This judge tree is basically still a simple plant. We must still give it water and fertilizer. Actually, I am in charge of making sure the judge tree stays healthy. Then I have to give it water and fertilizer. I'm so busy I don't have any free time at all. Ah! I've got to run to the basement. No one out there has pressure now. This judge tree is actually a giant tree which has been living in this exact spot for hundreds of years. We've added some cybernetics to make it capable of hearing a human's voice. That made it this perfect system of justice, and that is how the justice tree was born. Interesting. The judge tree, huh? I wonder what it's like. Well, since it makes all the judgments for the trials, I'm guessing that it's got its own will, like us net navvies. So you think this tree can hear my voice too, just like you, Mega Man? I have no idea. Hey, Mr. Judge Tree, if you can hear me, answer, okay? Hey, Mr. Judge Tree! I said hey! Alan, what are you. Don't lean over that far. Answer me! Stop it, Lan, you're just harassing it. But don't you think it should at least answer me? Maybe it's asleep. Ugh, I don't believe you're. Oh well, what can you expect? It's pretty much just a tree. Oh. Emergency, emergency. We have a level 5 emergency situation. What? Suspect surrounded, begin capture. Suspect me again? Greentown orders three states. With regard to the judge tree of Greentown, it is recognized as something vital and important to the town. Therefore, anyone who causes harm to it will be removed in any way necessary. We, in accordance with the above ordinance, have determined that you have harmed the judge tree. Following was suspicious or a suspect anyways. I told you to leave the judge tree alone. Oh, come on. Well, then, the tree's the, the tree's vital and important. And uh, level 5 emergency use of stun arms. Oh, God. Police brutality at its finest. They've stopped. What's going on? You wouldn't have any trouble if you had faster skills. Ah, it's that strange guy from before. Faster skills. You mean, you're the one that jacked in and then crashed these robots at that super fast speed? No way. Lan Hikari. You are at the center of all the trouble recently. But by the looks of it, I can tell you're still oblivious. But this nonsense again? Look. You still don't understand? This is what they call a setup. Setup? By who? Your navy's too dangerous. While he's pushing himself, that thing is ob. What did it say? Obsol. I don't know what it said. Obedient? I think it said obedient. I think I skipped over it too fast. But what you can't see is how it is consuming your navy. Something may occur that will cause us all serious trouble. If that were to happen, I will delete your navy. D delete? Delete Mega Man? Don't mess with me. I would ever let that happen. Hey, are you alright? I was actually starting to think it was the warrior under that uh, hood. I guess I was wrong. I guess he's a little bit taller. Are you alright, Lan? I'm sorry, I went and touched the judge tree. Oh, that wasn't good. I guess I should have warned you beforehand. In any case... I don't think I know who you are and your name is. I don't have to answer you. The judge tree is the most important thing in all of Greentown. No, of all Cyber City. If I suspect you of doing anything suspicious to the judge tree, I could get a warrant. Hmm, do what you want. Maybe I was the one who was going to harm the tree. After all, I do think this tree is a bit troubled. Interesting. What's with that guy? Net criminals that target this tree do exist, and that man is probably one of them. If this tree were to be hacked, law and order would fall apart. We must be on our guard. More importantly, man, the trial is about to start. Good luck. Now then, the trial of Captain Blackbeard will now commence. It spoke. The tree actually spoke. 
First, Prosecutor Ito, your opening statement. Yes, Your Honor. The defendant's Captain Blackbeard is accused of endangering, almost said endearing, endangering the lives of many people at the Seaside Aquarium by releasing the animals from their tanks in cages for the sake of watching people panic. We, the prosecution, cannot allow this sort of harmful, selfish behavior to be unpunished. He looks so cool. Now, I would like to call Lan Hikari to the witness stand. Y yes, sir. Here it goes. I'm so nervous. Please state your name and occupation. Yes, sir. I'm Lan Hikari, and I, uh, I've i never had octopus. Lan, that's not what he asked you. But he asked something about an octopus. No, no, no. He said occupation. Uh, what? Oc Octo bacon? That's not it either. What's with you and food? Sigh. Now, the witness will answer a few questions about the incident. Please answer to the best of your ability. On the day of the incident, you were just visiting and enjoying the aquarium. Is this correct? Yeah, I mean, yes, that's right. Can you please tell the court exactly what happened? Um, my friend and I were about to go home, and suddenly we heard screaming, and before we knew it, there were sharks and piranhas all over the place. I see. Moving on to my next question. Now, think back. Was the man you saw and fought in a net battle with the same man you see over there? The defendant's Captain Blackbird? Yes, that's him. But Captain Blackbird didn't just mess up the aquarium, he also took my friend hostage. I'd recognize that he will face anywhere. Hmm, this is a very decisive testimony. I don't see the need to hear an explanation from the defendant. Hey, maybe this is all I need to do. Testify? Yeah, I guess so. You did great. I will now pass judgment. The defendant was acting out of malice and selfishness. This sort of evil behavior cannot be forgiven. Therefore, I pronounce the defendant, Captain Blackbird, guilty. I sentence you to the punishment room in an infinite amount of time. Oh, indefinite. I thought I said infinite. Indefinite amount of time. Uh oh. Not. Not part. This was not part of the deal, you filthy lion. I'll send you to David Johnson's locker, you scurvy rat. Arr. What the? He didn't say one word during the entire trial. Now he makes a big fuss. This is how criminals always act. When he heard the verdict and realized how serious his crime was, he objected, just as all criminals do. Please remove the guilty party. Well done. So what did you think of your first trial? I was so nervous, but the judge tree is really cool. I guess a tree can run a trial after all. <laughs> you see, actually that judge tree was my idea. Really? It was a small idea I had in college, but surprisingly, it got bigger and bigger. That's awesome, Prosecutor Ito. I refuse to forgive any evildoers, so my dream is to someday create a society with no crime. The judge tree is the first step to making my dream come true. Ah, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Anyways, I must prefer for my next trial, so I have to go. Stop by and visit sometime, okay? Prosecutor Ito sure loves justice. He looks so cool. I want to be like him when I grow up. Well, you're not going to be like him the way you are now. First, you've got to study a whole lot more. Come on, let's go home and do some homework. Aww. We have some mail. Miss Farno has opened a net battler school in Greentown. How would you like to learn from a yummy, yum my, I guess it's supposed to be yummy net battler? Okay. So she maybe she's not a bad guy after all. Let's go to Central Town real quick. Hey, Lan! Hey, it's Dad. What's up, Dad? Were you at my school? Oh, I had something to do there. Oh, yeah, I went to a trial and testified today, Dad. Oh? That's a really big responsibility. Why don't you tell me all about it once we get home? Becoming a witness is incredible. You've gained another good experience, Lan. You should have brought me some flowers. The flowers there are famous and beautiful. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, let's go to the school. Strange, I haven't seen a single security bot. Uh oh. There's him. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, hey, I may look like this now, but I used to be a famous virus professor. However, years exposed to viruses turned me into this. You wouldn't want to buy a virus, would you? If you have the... 
battle card I developed, you can store viruses data inside. When you have a virus, you can enter a virus battle taking place on the computer. 2,000 zennies, how about it? I don't have enough money, how much zennies do we have? 1,500? So, uh, a, f a feature that they had at this game previously, not this, obviously, this game, but in previous installments of Megalin Battle Network was virus battling. Kind of. They had you collect viruses, like you had a chance of getting them to, like, I guess, join you. And then you can make chips out of them. I guess that's kind of back. It's kind of like, kind of like a version of Pokemon, kind of. Um, so I need to make some Zenny real quick. Let's go on the net real fast. The fastest way to probably make Zenny would probably grab, uh, be to grab some green mystery datas. Oh, yeah, it was some email. Oh, it's mail. Yeah, I, I heard it through the grapevine, but something terrible happened the, in the net in, the, in Cyber City. Make sure you don't go on the net. But I bet that even though I'm warning you, you'll still go poking around where you shouldn't. Something happened. I hear the net in Cyber City is having some errors. I was even on the news here in ACDC. Are you okay? I know Mega Man is okay. He's Mega Man. Land, I saw on the news that something big happened on the net in Cyber City. Use it instead of your good luck charm. Oh, it's rolled too hard. Uh, we'll throw it in there. We'll uh, we'll take this out. Awesome. You can only use five of the same mega chip, but we have no, we don't have this on here. Unless we have to get rid of one of the heat mans. Is that what's going on? There we go. Save. Okay. Um. So green mystery datas, figure A. Zenny. Oh yeah, I didn't have enough Zenny. I was like, wait, didn't I buy one? So 1900, we're almost there. Okay, that's enough. We'll go buy that real quick. It was in one of these chalkboards, it wasn't this one, was it? No energy. Energy bomb. I think it was the next one. Thank you. Alright, here it is. Alright, so if you want to check around the cyber world, there are extremely rare viruses with rare in their names. If you delete a rare virus, you can get this data. You can store virus data in the battle world card. If you want to enter in a virus battle, find a different colored Mr. Progs and talk to it. Mr. Progs whereabouts? They should be near places with dogs or robots. Go find them for yourself. Fair enough. Okay, 
just there. Why do I access the uh, battle card? Wait, did it say, uh, Greentown? Oh, it isn't Greentown. God dang it. I thought it was in, uh, our school. I'm dumb. So dumb. Uh, Miss Faharan, uh, nice surprise to hear you have something to do in Greetown. You, uh, what are you doing here? Well, I started a cooking class here. Oh, it's a cooking class. Sure. Once class starts, you aren't allowed to quit, and you must stay here until class is over. Is that okay? Let me see something real quick. Okay. So we're going to let you perfect the dish in the cyber world so that it can be made in the real world can't imagine what it feels like to do it. Well, that's what you're here for, right? I want you to use Slash Man to gather some ingredients for me. Slash Man is in the recipe book's computer. I'll leave the operating to you. Alright, with that, we're going to end the episode there. It looks like next episode, we're going to be doing some cyber cooking, taking control of Slash Man, and I would imagine linking up with uh, Slash Man like we did with Heat Man. I always get confused because he's had Flare Man, Heat Man, uh, Torch Man. Uh, of course, he, I mean Mr. Match, pronouns, pal. Anyways, guys, until next time, I am the Maverick McDaniels. Been your fellow peace and one love. Bye!